Our nations have inherited a strong alliance because our predecessors had the wisdom to continue to adapt to the challenges at hand. And now it's our duty to adapt to the challenges like radical Islamic terrorism, cyber attacks, uncontrolled migration, Chinese strategic competition, and indeed, still, Russian aggression. Vladimir Putin harbors dark dreams of imperialism. This is evident from his invasions of Georgia and Ukraine and his meddling in Syria, and now in Venezuela. He wants to split our alliance and weaken our democratic resolve. In light of Russia's attacks on Western democracies, we agreed to improve our defenses against hybrid warfare, develop new strategies to deter it, and identify prompt and effective responses. It, it is one thing to compete in an open, fair, transparent way. The United States is prepared to compete with our NATO allies, with China, with any country that shows up with a commercial transaction, a better mousetrap, a, a better idea, and compete with uh, fair, reasonable, trans transparent transactions. It is a very different thing to engage in transactions that have a national security component to them. When, when a nation shows up and offers you goods that are well below market, one ought to ask what else is at play, why it was that that entity showed up with a deal that is literally too good to be true. Last